Alrighty. So here we are back playing some more Tropico 6 and we're on to, I believe this is now, episode number 8 of our Dystopia Island playthrough. In the last episode we actually ended up getting rid of a lot of the rebellion that was happening. And I actually got more liberty than I think I've had on like any of my islands. Um, so there's lots of reasons for that. I was like trying to get rid of a lot of the liberty penalties that we were having by building up a lot of newspapers and then we went through in the constitution changed some things and we enacted an edict the right to bear arms and all of that the new newspapers the constitution and the edicts culminated in quite a bit of liberty accumulating on the island so now there should be next to no issues with rebellion and if there is then the military should soundly beat them um, in this episode, I want to pretty much just continue along with the status quo. Keep building up some more, some more dystopian, I don't know what you would call it, just buildings. Like, what I really like to see is a lot of expensive buildings surrounded by a lot of poor buildings. Um, and then we're going to be mixing in a bunch of taverns all over the place and just trying to keep things looking pretty good. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are. We're making good money, but um, also another thing that happened in the last episode was, um, I believe it is here, global financial predicament. We have to deal with this for 16 more months. I thought it was down to a year. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I don't think I forgot to save the game. No, I'm pretty sure I definitely saved it, but alrighty. So, here we are. And I definitely want to continue expanding up these Cormentheos that we have, build them all over the place. Here we're doing pretty good, there we're doing pretty good, and over here. I definitely want to move into each of these islands. I think we'll have, like, this one sort of be the central hub where everyone lives, and then mines and forestries and just whatever else we can fit around here we're gonna have to wait for the financial crisis to end though global financial predicament because this is decreasing the amount of revenue we're making significantly so let's go through to our bank actually and decrease the budget because for some reason we're losing a lot of money there um, on top of that our offices are barely making like you know dozens of dollars when they used to make like thousands so we just have to really just wait this out. So I'm going to put this in times four speed here. Let our money build up. And this is nice because we can kind of let the population catch up. We shouldn't be running into too much rebellion. Ministry of Information. We checked this building out actually in the last episode. Efficiency scales the chance of other buildings detecting hidden rules. Okay. And so if I had the funds for it. If I had the funds for it, then it would probably be a good idea to start building up some Overwatch Towers. Decreases liberty, slightly improves crime safety, um, engages enemy squads, conflicts, has a chance to discover hidden roles of passerbys. So that's the major thing. Faith, happiness, praise of action. I'll go with the communists again. Blame a superpower, no one. Promise and improvement have nothing. That should be fine. I don't want to alarm you, but I'm going to need a rather prompt decision on these offers. Nice. Okay, so we're still making good money, but all this money is flying out of the window, like, pretty much as quickly as we're gathering it. And we have 100 service quality on our shopping mall, finally, which is really nice. Which means that the well-off people, the people that can vote, will be very happy because they have... Apolitical. Improves nothing anyways. Damn gorillas. 
What's really nice about having the fort like this is none of the soldiers that we have in the fort are actually going to end up dying. Um, at least I don't think they'll die if they're in the fort. Unless the whole fort burns down, but... Anyways, back to what I was saying. The well off, they have this 110 service quality stadium, which fits plenty of people. And then if all of the groceries are full, then the shopping mall has a 100 service quality and the well off people can use that. So, there's almost never a time where the overall happiness of the voters is going to be really that low. It should be pretty much 100 all the time, no matter what. So that is nice. And then the police can go and deal with rebellion as well. Help out a bit. Hmm. Ah, it ended. Confidence in the financial sector was restored today after the arrest of the people behind the recent disastrous collapse. Inside sources claim the perpetrators could receive up to three hours of community service. Good. They deserve it. They're ruining my country for so long. Um, so now if we look, our banks are back to making plenty of money and our offices are each making several thousands of dollars instead of the dozens that they were making previously. So that's all pretty good for us. Even on the low budget, we're still having a pretty high efficiency on this high school. 160, that's good. We could do interactive education, push that up to, what is that, like 185%? That would be really good, but I don't think it's that necessary. Um, so what I do want to do is start building up plenty more jobs, but we just need more people to move in. So maybe what I'll try and build is in the government immigration office. Let's build this building on up. And we should build up a college somewhere sometime soon as well. Actually, let's do the college first. You know, with this... It might be a good idea to change the Constitution's labor policy to Happy Childhood because a life's work is good, but we already have um, we already have Social Security enacted, which means that ooh, wow, people are actually kind of rich on this island. Seventy percent of the average wage on Tropico is nine dollars a month, which is pretty pretty crazy. Which means that. Once people retire, they'll make a well-off wage, which means that retirees will be able to move into the rich island, even if you've lived your entire life out here. And so that's kind of an issue because we don't really want any of the rich tropicans or any of the poor tropicans to kind of find their way onto this island, into the rich island. Um, looks like a lot of our housing is taken up up here so let's go ahead and unpause some of this we can actually check the numbers homeless families three well off there's plenty of well-off housing vacant jobs a number of college jobs we just need some people to move into our island here don't need to go through and quick build that plenty of sugar being produced which means that our rum distillery should be totally fine we're still running into issues with steel for some reason even though we're producing plenty of coal and plenty of iron. Hmm. This lady's rich. And it is because her spouse works in the TV station. So ideally, like the most ideal way to handle stuff like this would be to go through anyone who's like rich and well off. Just actually fire them. So that they hopefully go get a job somewhere else. Yes. So like this lady's rich, we can fire her. Rich. Well off. Rich and well off. And well off. Yeah, that seems fine there. Um, how many 
fisher wharfs, fisherman's wharfs that I set up. Not that many, I don't think. Definitely want to do more as time goes on. Get some more fishing dredgers up. Here we are making good money. And I would say this island here is almost completely finished, so we should sort of focus our attention on this and get it completely tip top. So let's go through, build up a number of mines, I think. Two new iron mines, all of the deposits up here being exploited. And there's really not a whole lot more we can do about that stuff. Let's go ahead and do a nickel mine here as well. Then we can go through, build a road up to here. And then come over here, build a road like this. Okay, that all seems fine. Um, I'll probably end up finishing this off by building as many logging camps as I can around. And then this island will be complete. Mm, I could do more plantations, but I think the amount that we have here is plenty. All the food that we could possibly want. Making rubber and coffee. Cotton. So we could start building up some textile mills. That could be pretty good for us. Allow her to vote freely. Um, let's look at mines here. Are we... Yeah, we are mining all the gold that's possible to get out. $10,000 to fill up the garbage dump there. Nobody wants to work in the mines, like always. Now that we have a college constructed, let's go ahead and max out... Well, we don't need to max out the budget. Um, the college would be nice because we can actually get college-educated tropicans on our island. Okay, so it looks like some rebels are going to come try to burn down a furniture factory. And so I feel like they've been targeting this one, this furniture factory, over and over again. So might be a good idea to actually move this. And like I was talking about, actually turning on CAD software for this building. In the hopes that the poor population will not be able to work here because it's going to be restricted by the education level. So that might be a pretty good move. And I think we're actually going to do it. And I'm looking here for a road setup that could work. And I think this will work fine. So we'll let the rebels catch it on fire. We'll put the fire out. And then we can go about moving it. 120k, we're still making very, very good money. We might even have over 200k when that's all finished. I wonder how much milk we're producing on our little island here. Um, we don't need to change the constitution quite yet. <laughs> okay, so we're making a lot of milk. And we're processing not that much of it. Consuming a little bit other. I don't know what that could mean. <laughs> Either way. Other. The other means of losing stock, i.e. destroyed buildings, work modes, in the time frame. Okay. Oh, you know what it's got to be? It's got to be the fact that we have all of our um, Teamsters offices on loose load limit. So they're just dropping the milk on their way to where they're supposed to deliver it. Either way, we could probably set up another creamery as well. And that is something that I think... Well, no, I really like mixing in the industry buildings amongst our poor population. I think that serves quite well. It just looks good. Let's go into the raid screen and do Gorilla Patrol. Let's actually queue up a number of these. Now let's also go through and queue up some... Rescue Raids. That'll be good are getting more people inside the island and let us focus on I guess I should honestly build up as many logging camps as I can right now so that way this island is completely finished and we'll just need people to move in and fulfill all of these job slots Nothing really can happen down here. There's no... Well, I guess we can fit like one logging camp, but it doesn't seem like there's much that we can do here. 
Let us go through and set up as many coconut harvests as possible as well. And again, doesn't look like we have a lot of options. But we have one spot there. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do this. Construct up some roads here. And that's all looking pretty good. Go through, quick build all of this. We have so much money at this point. Things are actually turning out quite well for our little island. And we're going to go through, honestly, I might do the middle budget on all of these logging camps. Maybe the middle budget on all the mines. Change them to almost human protocol. Just so people decide to actually work here. We can do change chainsaws as well on all of our logging camps. And hopefully that will serve us rather quite well. Plenty of bacon jobs, so maybe it'd be a good idea to actually go through and start hiring in a bunch of people. We have enough money to where this shouldn't be an issue. It's starting to get really, really expensive hiring in this many people all the time, though. Um, I suppose we can go down until we have around 50k, which means not a whole lot more. That's quite fine there. Okay. So let's check out workforce occupancy, see where people want to work, where they don't want to work. It looks like the mines are struggling, but that is to be expected. In the very least, the deposits are going to last a little bit longer this way. Another like 50k coming in. 40k, still pretty good. Um, I haven't checked the trade routes in a while. Not like it really matters though, China doesn't really have any... We don't have any extra trade licenses. Let's purchase one for now and let's see what we can get. Electronics fish. Um, we're also selling to Russia. Nickel oil, passenger drones, plastics. Um, not a whole lot that we are. We could do rum. Let's do rum. On the max budget, we are making plenty of rum. Um, European Union is upset with us, but that's okay. They'll never invade due to the fact that we are actually allies with China. We can do music all day here. That's okay. That's going to increase the efficiency. It should increase the efficiency of our stadium, but kind of doesn't look like it is, but that's totally fine. And still running into issues with steel, so alrighty. So we just had 70 new people show up on the island. That's pretty good, but we still have a lot of vacant job slots. Which definitely isn't amazing, but what I wanted to check out is, if we look at here, resource overview. What I'm curious about is how much iron do we have on the island? Um, we're still importing a lot of iron. We're not even producing that much. And then processing is still pretty low as well. So it's probably going to be in our best interest to actually turn off the iron. Iron and coal trades. Do we turn off coal? Hmm. Sort by name, go down to we find coal. Let's turn off coal trades. It's not even going for that much money anyways. And let's find iron real quick, turn that off as well. Same sort of thing, starting to go down a bit. Now, the reason I want to turn those off is because we can actually set up more steel mills. And I think that would definitely be pretty ideal. So let's someone up over here. Go into industry. Because our car manufacturing plants are running into issues with not having enough steel. Which is pretty annoying. And so doing this should help alleviate a bit of that. A bit of the issues with that. Let's go ahead and bring a road down this way. Arch it over this way. 
Um, what I'm kind of thinking is we can do a small park here. That one looks fine. And today I feel like doing some flop houses, so let's do some of these. Can do one here and then maybe one here-ish. I'm gonna just quick build these. And with the flop houses, I'm thinking, yeah, the second lowest budget is probably gonna be right. okay. Um, it feels like we're running out of money pretty quickly. But hopefully with the addition of a new steel mill, we shouldn't really run into too many issues with that. It's probably also going to be a good idea to set up a new garbage dump somewhere nearby. We don't want this garbage dump to be too close to our plantations, of course, because pollution is going to negatively affect our plantations. So I'm thinking that this looks pretty good. It's actually a really good spot, I think. And that leaves us with just a little bit of extra room for some additional conventios. And then this area here will be pretty much complete. So let's go check in on our taverns. Yeah, we have extra room for extra taverns. So let's go ahead and start constructing up some. I'm thinking one here could look good. Max out the budget. All you can drink. That leaves us room for another small park here. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we can fit a couple more taverns out this way. Maybe even do something like the circus. Hmm. This building is way bigger than I thought. But circuses are fine because they will provide a pretty good... A pretty good service quality. Probably around 50. And we can actually fit lots and lots of poor people inside. That will function sort of like our stadiums. This park over, the, sorry not this park, but this road has been a bit of an issue for a while. So let's go ahead and destruct, deconstruct it, build a more straight road, and then finish that off. So this should heal up after um, like a whole rotation of crops. And so now we're starting to save all of our extra coal and extra iron, and that will start to be put into our steel mill. And that will be very, very good for us. Um, we have a logging camp over here that I never constructed a road to. So let's go through and bring a road down on that way. Okay. So this island is pretty much complete. All of the production that we can possibly get out of it is here. Although we do have a little bit of space here. So I could either build up another plantation. Um, maybe I'll do a cotton plantation. And then we can do some ranches. That'd probably be a good idea as well. And in terms of ranches, I would like to do some sheep ranches. And it looks like we can fit, ideally, somewhere around two here. Then let's go through, check the plantations. Can we do another cotton plantation? Oof. What is up here? Is the soil quality dropped? I kind of doubt that. We're not going to be able to fit the cotton plantation here, though. Which is kind of not that great. Because it would be really nice if we could. Reason being is that. Uh, somewhere between 3 and 11 gorillas left. Just want to make sure that those are constantly queued up. Let's go ahead and queue up another rescue raid. But the reason that getting another cotton plantation would be good. Is because then we'd have two cotton plantations. And two sheep ranches. And combining all of that together will give us plenty of stuff to make cloth with. So, we already probably have enough for at least one textile mill. So let's go ahead and do that. Try and find a nice snug spot to fit this. I suppose here is fine. Let's actually go... No, actually I didn't want to... I didn't want to move over the furniture factory. Because this building does sort of fit the poor aesthetic, Ikea, Colosseum of Rome, Lumber Mill, Shopping Malls, I think we only need one shopping mall probably forever honestly. Um, I have a feeling that our groceries are probably going to be totally fine as well. Go through, check residential occupancies again, make sure we're not. 
needing more. We do need more around here though. And I think this spot here could be a good spot for some. So let's go ahead and do that. And back here, I'm not really seeing... Well, you know what we could do is two new taverns. That could be good. Two taverns right behind the police station. And I think we can fit even another tavern here. Okay. And so we have this wide open space here. And I want to use it for something, but I can't really think of anything good that it could be used for. Maybe as time goes on, I will come up with something, though. Criminals, which are definitely not a good thing. This area is looking pretty cool. I really, really like this island. Like, things are just looking really, really good. Uh, the car export finally has been completed. So let's go through and look for some new deals. We're going to have to wait five months for new deals. Let's set up an electronics factory sometime soon. I think what I want to do is do the sweatshop. So let's go ahead and actually go to goods and prices, find oil. Let's stop exporting oil and start turning that into plastics. Plastics produces Processes oil to produce plastics emits much pollution. It's probably going to be okay though. And I'm thinking this is more of a poor population building. So there's that being constructed on up. Lumber mills, why are you guys not... Hmm. I have a feeling it's because the logging camps, no one's really wanting to work in them. And maybe that was something from a bit earlier. Now that we've constructed up a whole bunch of new logging camps, changed the work modes around a bit, this is looking a bit repetitive, I must say. But that's okay. Not worried too much about the aesthetics of the farms, more about the aesthetics of this area here. And so this is definitely unique. Like, I've never constructed anything like this. Usually I try and create, like, neighborhoods and just stuff that looks really nice. I've actually never used Conventius on any of my builds, I don't think. Maybe, like, a couple here and there. But definitely not, like, as the staple of the living quarters for the population. Um, it's probably going to be a good idea to actually set up some additional Teamsters offices. I reckon that we're going to start running into issues with that. Checking on the population, 100 new job slots we need to have filled in. I don't really feel like wasting a lot of money on that though, so let's just give it some time. Right here, I know for a fact that this is going to be all park, so let's go ahead and construct up a park there. Here's the college. We have like one child who's going to college. Let's go to the constitution, change the labor policy to happy childhood. Um, this way, many of the tropicans can actually afford to go to college. That'll be good. Before they get too old. Gunny, red star. Oh, you know what? We're probably going to need to construct even more radio stations. We have like one we have two. And they're on open mind, so let's change those all to Tech Talk. And then the TV station is actually set to telenovela. Let's change that to... Um, I never really decided on which faction, or, yeah, political faction I wanted to support with this island. I think conservatives. Yeah, conservatives, definitely. Um, because intellectuals tend to watch out for dystopias in the making so yesterday gold that's probably fine something like global news like if you paid attention to the global news you wouldn't want to live in a country like this right if you listen to a radio station called 42 which is of course um well actually i think that's from that's from a 
A book, isn't it? The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I think, at least. But there is, I believe it is, in the movie theater, there's something that is about um, watching out for dystopias. I think, at least. But things are looking really, really good. And so I want to start moving over to this island, building up as much production as we can around here. Let's check out all of the deposits we have on the island. There's lots of gold over here we can start gathering as well. There's a number of uranium mines over here. Plenty of mines out here we can fill in. More uranium and gold and more uranium. And so it'd probably be a good idea to set up a nuclear power plant sometime in the near future. Yeah, just one nuclear power plant I reckon will be enough. Um, I don't think I built a garbage dump around here yet, did I? No, I did. Okay. So that is nice. Now we have the plastics plant up and running. Let's change this down to the lowest. To the lowest budget, that's okay. Secure disposal appliances decreases pollution. Upkeep is increased. Don't really need to do that. Um, we could probably even build up a second plastics plant and start consuming corn. That could be a good idea. There's plenty of room on this island here. Once we set up our mines, we'll determine what we want to. Yeah, like this entire plateau here, that's pretty flat. We can use this for plantations. Um, and then around the plantations, around the mines, we can construct even more logging camps, of course. But I can't really think of a whole lot of goods that we're going to want to be producing on plantations, at least quite yet. In the near future, I'll definitely come up with some good ideas, I think. Uh, so now we have the plastics plant. Ooh, I just realized that doing electronics is going to actually... Hmm, it's going to consume gold. So maybe we won't. Maybe we will not construct electronics because we're using our gold for making jewelry already let's see what's worth more on top of that the building's going to require a high school education and i wanted to turn the buildings into sweatshops Alrighty, so major development has happened i actually was recording for Probably like 20 minutes and my computer ran out of space and so I lost a bit of the recording. I was talking about um, the smart furniture last and I was going over that and I'm not sure that I even talked about these little areas which are pretty neat that I've been constructing. So real quick, even if I have talked about it in the episode already, I just quickly want to cover everything that I've done thus far. Um, we're constructing these pretty unique looking areas which are going to be places for the poor tropicans to come visit to hang out have fun fulfill their fun happiness we built up a number of parks around them to get the highest service quality possible on top of that they have the highest budget all you can drink and they're affected by supply local market from the rum distilleries and so these areas have a very high beauty which is giving us a very high service quality. On top of that, we have National Day turned on. And then right in the center is an Overwatch Tower with 30 cameras to watch your every move while you're having fun. And so that's an easy way to tell who's rebels, potentially even who's criminals. Um, and so I built up another creamery in this area because we had so much extra milk. And then I got this area pretty much, this whole island pretty much completely finished. This island is completely done. Every single mine that we could possibly put down, every deposit we could exploit is being exploited. I went through, built up as many logging camps as I could, and then I went and built up as much housing as we needed. Let's check. Yeah, so a couple of vacant homes, but pretty much this area is finished. I reorganized all of the taverns around. And so let's check Liberty here, actually. Yeah, Liberty went down quite significantly. So it's actually going to be in our best interest to construct up some simple media buildings. So good thing I came and realized all of this. Let's do, I'm thinking one here could be good. And then let's go ahead and do a radio station as well. Let's quick build both of these buildings. 
Yeah, it's really sad. I was talking about a whole bunch of stuff. And just getting a lot of building done, and... All of that was not being recorded. So, pretty sad, but I can just go over everything that i done. So let's check Liberty now. It should go up once people actually start working in these, but we'll give that some time. Maybe even what we could do... I don't know. People are coming to work here. So Liberty isn't going to be too, too low. So something that I had discovered while I was checking out and reading things is Liberty needs to be high where people work and where they live. And so Liberty can be low where they go to have fun. So that's why I wasn't going to build a newspaper around this. So that area is fine. And once we get the radio station in here. Yeah, so as long as it's above 50 all around here, then we're doing good. So now it is. And we got music all day. So the service quality of these taverns is up to 76. And so that's most of everything that we went over. Built up a number of parks, getting the beauty up as high as possible. And then I started doing some major work on this last island that we're going to construct. And so we need a road here. What I did was I built mines on every single last deposit up here. And then we did a bit of expanding and built yet another one of these little spy areas. This one I think looks pretty good. Um, we might actually need to increase the liberty around here. Yes. Definitely going to be a good idea. And I kind of like the idea of doing radio stations because we can do music all day. Oof. We need electricity. Um, but music all day is, of course, going to give us a higher service quality of our taverns. So that's all pretty good. And then we... One of the last few things that I was talking about was actually getting luxury outlets on our shopping mall. And that is going to allow us to stock in the luxury goods and so I was looking at these and we have cigars which are now being produced on that new island over there and I want to do weapons we'll probably skip over the smart furniture because that requires getting electronics onto the island and mm, it's kind of whatever so we'll just ignore that for now and then as you might notice there's these red things all over the island and this is actually every last single oops every last deposit on the island and so we're like an episode or two away from having the entire island finished. So every single deposit is being exploited. And then all I need to do is finish up this area here with as many common theos as we're going to need after we have all of these job positions that we're constructing out here finished. We'll probably build up a number of logging camps depending. We might not need that many. But then again, we could also build up more furniture factories and, um, what are these called? Lumber mills around here as well. And so there's all of that. There's lots of developments that have been going on, but only time will tell exactly what we're going to need to do. And then we're going to build up one more little town with Comentheos here. And then maybe one more here. And then once all of that is done, this entire island is going to be finished. I'm not sure if I talked about this garbage dump yet either. I think it's in a pretty neat little spot. And yeah, just a couple more episodes and everything will be finished. So it is kind of sad that we did end up not recording all of this planning, but it'll be okay, honestly. Um, building up so many mines has made the environmentalist upset, but that's totally fine. Let's go check in with the broker. We can refresh this, refresh it one more time. One more time. Unlucky. We didn't get the... Um, thing that allows us to end a ultimatum, but we can build just one wind turbine to get them to not be so upset. And yeah, we just need to continue building up the island. So, because I ended up not recording all of that, I'll just continue from this point. And I think that'll be totally fine just like skipping ahead by 20 minutes in the video check resident occupancy we're gonna need even more common theos around here which is pretty crazy and we're starting to get up to over 3200 or not 32 uh 1300 
Tropicans on the island, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and cancel this raid. It looks like another Gorilla Patrol has been queued up and should be underway. So let's queue up another one. Ooh, you can ship click. That's interesting. I didn't know that that's how that worked. Um, shift, left click to repeat it. Hmm. It's getting kind of bugged out, honestly, but maybe I'll let all the current raids that are going finish up and then try and tidy that up a bit. Um, just in preparation, let's go ahead and set up some Teamsters ports. That seems fine, like a pretty good idea. So we can build one over there. We can build this one here. Probably going to need one around here. As well as one here. So that's every single last dock I believe we're going to need on this entire island. Maybe one more over here. I know there's uranium, a uranium deposit there, but it might not be the most necessary of things. $145,000. That is pretty good. Lots of iron, plenty of gold saved up. So because we have so much extra gold, it's probably in our best interest to construct yet another jewelry workshop. I'll wait until we actually make money here before we do that. European Union is upset with us, but that's totally fine. All these extra mines up here that have finished up. Let's go ahead and start constructing roads down to... The Teamsters Dock. That's all looking pretty okay there. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So there's all of that. Um, we can actually press play and build up all the roads down here, I think would probably be a good idea, just so everything's prepared for whenever it all finally comes together. Curve this road like that. Come down to here, on over to there. This is where we're going to build up one of our final few towns. There's like two more townships that I kind of want to construct on up. Ooh, we only made 50k from that. Hmm. That's a bit worrying. That means that we're stockpiling a lot of goods up. All right, yeah, there's like $100,000 here, so we're not selling any of this. Any of the iron, gold, oil... Um, let's actually turn the oil trade back on because we're going to end up selling the oil. Um, if we can find it. Always seems to be my issue. So turn that back on. Um, we could probably even turn on the rubber. Well, no, let's save it. There's not like a whole lot being saved up. But everything else seems totally fine here. Cloth, iron, okay. So there's that. Let's continue building down our roads. Now I kind of want to square this up. That looks pretty good. And we'll build one more Conventio town here. And one more somewhere around over here. So let's get this area dealt with as well. Alrighty, that's looking pretty good. Okay. So there is all of the roads we'll need there. We need just a couple more roads out here. Okay. So that's pretty much everything finished. All we need to do is let it all come to fruition. And we'll be in a pretty good spot. $150,000 stored in here. Lots of fish. Are we selling the fish? No, we have fish turned off for some reason. So let's go ahead and turn that on. 
steel and gold. Lots of gold, but I definitely don't want to sell the gold. It's going to go for way less than it's actually going to be worth if we turn it into jewelry. Yeah, the raised screens are kind of annoying to have to deal with. Oh, no. Set this raid to repeat. Maybe we can just turn that off, the repeating, and just try and remember to come back and keep on queuing things up. Oh, are we doing intimidate neighbors with this? I think we are. Yeah, we're intimidating the neighbors. That's kind of good because we're getting additional support, but that's not much of an issue for our island. Cancel that on up and Gorilla Patrol. Okay. So we just need time. Time needs to be on our side. Let's actually go through and... Can't click on that building. That's fine. Um, okay. Maybe it would also be a good idea to construct up some bridges. Hmm. Honestly, like, this is where the main population centers are, so... Maybe not the most necessary of things. 185k saved up in here. That's kind of crazy. Most of our stuff should go out. The fish and the oil. But we're keeping iron and coal, gold number of other things okay things are looking really up for our island here let's quickly check not workforce but residential occupancy this place is still doing pretty good this place is doing fine and this place over here is also doing well okay um we should build up a number of bus stations on this little island here like one going here one there one there and then maybe one more up there so make a little bus station garage area one two I'm thinking that that many is probably enough. Let's deconstruct this road, have it be more straight coming up to around this point and curving over. Then we need roads down like this, that, and here. Then let's throw in some parks in between it all. Kind of like the idea of something like this. With just some random park in the center. That all looks fine. Let's quick build all of this up. Ooh, we're actually running low on money, which is the first time that that's happened in a while. But hopefully, yeah, look at that. Quarter of a million dollars. There we go. Let's actually max out the budget on all of these and start placing around some bus stations. Let's put all the ending bus stops here. I'm thinking that's going to be a good idea. There we go, everyone should kind of gather up around this grocery here. And then what we can do is click on each of these and place bus garage or bus stops wherever we need them. So one up here is what I'm thinking. Then we can put one here. And the last one can go here. Okay, hopefully that'll really help out with all of the population being moved around. Instead of everyone having to walk all day to get anywhere. And let's actually start up the new areas by finding areas of high beauty. Beauty. So I do want to construct the main town here around this area. So let's build it up over here, I think. Um, let's start with the parks, I suppose. We can probably start with something like that. And here. Then that one and this one. And then throw in some taverns amongst all of that. And we can put our overwatch tower in the center. Quick build all of this up. And then let's start building up some comentios around. We'll give it a little bit of space here. 
And they're, of course, going to want their very own grocery, so let's do that. Let's actually have a road wrap around to the backside. Oof, that was a major lag spike there. Have the road wrap around like this. And then we can do a small bit of parks here, I think. Alongside a one by one. Let's quick build up this grocery. Max out the budget. Let's quick build up the common Theo. Go here. And we'll do auto recovery. Okay. That's all looking pretty good. Let's unpause all of these gold mines. Um, 190 days until we need to have our what's it called completed so let's try and get as many mines finished as possible before then and then let's go ahead and start on this area over here as well so beauty right up against the ocean here seems like a pretty good spot so let's go ahead and start that on up park large I do one here, one here, one there, and one final one. Oof, not this one. One final one here -ish. Okay, that all seems fine. A lot of brand new parks to keep everyone nice and happy when they go to a tavern with an Overwatch tower in the center. Quick build all this up, of course. Max out the budget on all the overwatch towers, max out the budget on these, change the work modes. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do this. Get the beauty completely maxed out pretty much as high as we can possibly get it. Oops. That one is a little off. But that's okay, we can just come back and center it. Then let's do some one by ones. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So now, of course, um, Liberty is going to be pretty heavily affected in these areas. So let's go ahead and do a radio station next to all of these. All of these newer areas. Go ahead and quick build up all the radio stations. And then in tandem with having these buildings set up, we're definitely going to need electricity. So let's do the substations now. Kind of like the idea of keeping it kind of away from the population. Quick build those up. And let's get music all day on these buildings. Very, very good. So service quality 77. Pretty nice. New sh freighter showing up, plenty of new goods being shipped out. Um, again, we're not going to build up a new town in this area or on this island. So those two islands are pretty much completely finished. We're starting to get uranium, so let's go ahead and start up a nuclear power plant. Cue this on up. Have it right here. Ooh, that's perfect. Look at that. Build a road straight down to there. Then let's have some roads wrap around just to cover up any empty areas. And I definitely wanted to set up a new Joy Workshop, so let's do that. And everything's looking pretty good. Let's put this on high priority. And then what we can do is actually go into the trade menu. Goods and prices. Find our uranium and turn that off. Okay. Totally good. Everything is good. 2,000 cars going out. Let's go into the trade menu and see what we can find. We actually don't have a car trade anymore so let's see if we can find one of those real quick no sadly but that's okay um, anything to russia or anything to china is going to be good and it doesn't look like they want to purchase anything but we're still in a really good spot so no need to worry about any of that queue up another gorilla patrol let's do another observation queued up everything's looking very good and we can queue up yet another Rescue Raid. And another Gorilla Patrol. Okay. Everything's queued up. Everything is squared away. We're going to need yet another... Oh, wow. This electrical grid doesn't reach the other ones. 
which means that we need something to sort of link them. We can just throw one out here in the middle of the forest. That's perfectly fine. Okay. And let's start up our first little bit of conventios in this area. Kind of like the idea of starting around here. And then what I'm kind of thinking is, what are we producing out here? Gold. Hmm. So this area honestly isn't going to require too much conventios. So maybe what we can do is remove all of this. Relocate all of this to around here. Yes. Budget one up. Auto recovery. And that seems fine to me. This Comentio is almost already completely stocked up with people. So let's go ahead and build another one. Quick build that one. Bring that up one. Auto recovery. Okay, everything's looking really, really good. Checking on the population, lots of vacant jobs. So it's probably going to be time to sort of just chill out for a bit. Let things get constructed on up. That building got burnt down. And we haven't really noticed any gorillas in a while attacking, which is a good thing. But that's probably due to the fact that we've been sending our commandos to go deal with them. Yeah, this island is probably like third place for my favorite islands. I would say actually maybe even lower on the list because I have. Oh, no. What a bummer. I done goofed it. A bunch of protesters, protesters starting all over the island. All I had to do was like quick build just one. What's it called? Wind turbine and we would have been good. I'm just going to. Times three speed through this. Or times four speed. Kind of annoying, but I mean, it's okay. They're going to be upset for like a year, but after that we should be a-okay. And at least all the rich people are having their opinions change towards the tech talk. Um, towards the industrialist um, faction, so... Hopefully their opinions aren't going to be too upset. Yeah, it's really going to hurt our money production for a bit. Man, this menu is just so buggy sometimes, let me tell you. So we need a rescue raid and a gorilla patrol. Okay. Bunch of protests all over the island, but as soon as they're done with them... That'll be fine. Um, we should also honestly probably start up as much oil production. We could probably just get away with building some, maybe even just one um, oil rig out in the middle of the ocean here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put this one on a high priority. <gasps> this will be kind of interesting. Yeah, let's wait for that to happen. Probably definitely solely due to the fact that... Um, Deliver a speech. People of drop would any of these be of interest to you? It's all strictly above board, of course. An impending uprising. I have received a message informing us. That's kind of spooky. I mean, hopefully, it doesn't happen. Let's go into the edicts and actually turn on the policy of detente. Rebels converted 140. That's pretty good. So hopefully that can help that out. Hopefully we don't have as many rebels. Always want to change this to the capitalist faction. Yeah. Hmm. Spooky. Let's also turn on tax cut. That gives us just gives us just enough support to hopefully win this election. Let's 
Still making good money. Nearly 200,000. An electrical substation's been destroyed, so let's do that. Check it on residential occupancy. Let's quick build this up. This building's completely full, so... Let's go ahead and do a new grocery out here for them. And we can have a road come down this way. And we can do yet another comentio. Quick build all this up. Max out the budget here. One up. Auto recovery. And let's quickly throw in some parks here. Just to cover up all the blank spots. Cool. Observation 10 rolls revealed. Let's see. Yeah, we have a lot of rebels actually. That's kind of scary. But that's probably all due strictly to the fact that we failed the ultimatum by not paying enough attention. <laughs> There's been a lot of that lately. I'm not too worried about it though, because if they do show up, then the fortresses should defend our rich people. Joy workshop, let's quick build that. Let's do another <clears throat> let's do another rescue raid. Queue up another gorilla patrol and do another observation. Okay. That seems all pretty good. And here we go, we have a nuclear power plant. Max out the budget there. Let's actually get the um firefighting helicopter. So that way we can have the helicopter come deal with buildings that are on fire. Sadly, these rebels are going to make it away, I reckon. Let the helicopter come put out the fire at the shopping mall. And then once they're done with that, allow everyone to vote freely. This is probably going to be the closest election for the rest of the run because... It was strictly due to the fact that we failed that ultimatum. Hang gliding, they're pretty upset. We can do a hang gliding this next time, hopefully. Um, we're probably definitely going to need some... Yeah, we're going to need some new uh, Teamsters. So let's go ahead and do some new Teamster buildings. For now, I'm kind of thinking we can fit in one here. Quick build that on up. Um, lower budget, loose load limit. And then we probably need some new ones around this area. We can even build them up here as a matter of fact, due to the fact that we have bus stations set up going up here. One lower, loose load limit. And we can even do some over here, I reckon. Let's do two here, I'm thinking. Quick build those up and throw down a road here. And just like all the other ones, one lower loose load limit. 200 empty job slots, so we definitely need some time to pass before we get too crazily into building up new jobs. We win our election, good enough. Rescue raid. Continue queuing those on up. And I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Honestly, probably one more episode and then this series will be finished. This has been a pretty interesting turn of affairs in terms of all the stuff that's been happening. I would have liked to get a bit more Comentheos down, but honestly, like, it's pretty dense housing. So we don't really need too, too many. But either way. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with more Tropico 6 series like this, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.